So we've been doing some lab, doing a lab today and yesterday using spectrometers. And so I can't video for you. You can Google YouTube, probably find some examples of it. But I can't do that particular part where because you have to look through this device and I just can't record that. I can record other parts to show you. So I can talk to you more about that on the worksheet that we did. And so we got a Bunsen burner going. We got three sticks that we're going to be using. Uh, we've got three different chemicals you can see here. Uh, the first one is sodium, then we have strontium, then we have copper, and these are all salts, so like copper chloride, sodium chloride, or something like that. Um, I can look more specifically here in just a minute. Basically, we're going to take a stick, one of these sticks here, and we're going to, uh, let's take, let's, I haven't done this on video before, so I'm going to take some sodium chloride, get quite a bit of it on a stick, and let's see what happens when I put it in the fire. So let's see if I got some samples here. Maybe hard to hard to see, but maybe kind of an orange glow to it. So that was the sodium. Let's try the strontium, see if it's any different. Trying to get as much as I can on here. So this is strontium. Okay, and then the last one is copper. So there's a different stick, try not to contaminate here. Okay. And so we burn those three chemicals and turn off the gas. So let me come over here and I've got a setup. We've got a spectrometer, an actual digital spectrometer. It's kind of fancy and I can kind of use this one. We'll see if it'll work. Uh, we should have a fiber optic cable here. I'm gonna take this out and the fiber optic cable. And I'm going to press record on here. And I'm going to discard the data and turn off this light just for a moment. So let's discard the data. And let's push play and see if uh, well, there it is. And I do want to just try it again, discard. Let's see if it'll give us a reading. It was working earlier. So I'll put that up here with that. You know, give us some graphs. My problem is, is somehow, for some reason, it's not given the graphs that it was given earlier, unfortunately. But I'll go ahead and show you save some time. Um, so I don't know if you can tell, but this is hydrogen, the graph we should have got with hydrogen. This is one we should have got with nitrogen. And helium. Okay, and argon. So what we could do is compare the graph on our spectrometer, which each, each of these identify what this gas is. We find out that this gas is hydrogen.